Next, let us see with the barrel shifter. In example 3.1, previously we have seen, we have shown a mood instruction where n is a simple register, but n can be more than just a register or an immediate value. It can also be a register RM that has been pre-processed by the barrel shifter prior to being used by the data processing instruction. Okay, One pre-processed register would be coming into the picture in this barrel shifter. The data processing instructions are processed within the arithmetic logic unit ALU. A unique and powerful feature of the ARM processor is the ability to shift the 32-bit binary pattern in one of the source registers left or right by a specific number of positions before it enters the ALU. This shift increases the power and flexibility of many data processing operations. Okay. So the pre-processing or shifting occurs within the cycle time of this instruction. So this is particularly useful for loading constants into a register and achieving fast multiple uh, multiplies or divisions of by a power of two. Okay. So this is the barrel shifter used here. The register used under the barrel shifter is called as RM and this register is called as barrel shifter register and the resultant is N. So RM and N are together used and some operations are performed. Okay, that is uh, used under the consideration of this RN that is the source register and this barrel shifter register and source register would be going towards the arithmetic logic unit and it would be performing some arithmetic operations producing the final destination register. Okay, so we have given one example for that barrel shifter register. So we apply logic one example you see here we apply logical shift left that is LSL to register RM that is the barrel shifter register before moving to it to the destination register. This is the same as applying the standard C language shift operator to the register. The move instruction copies the shift operator result N into the register RD. N represents the result of the LSL operation described in the table. Okay. So this is the precondition here. In the precondition what they have given R5 is equal to 5 and R7 is equal to 8. These are the values of R5 and R7. The, these contain the value R5 and uh, 5 and 8. The instruction is move R7, R5, LSL hash 2. Okay. LSL means logical shift left. Okay. They have given R7, R5, LSL hash 2. Hash 2 represents that it should be shifting logical shift left. You should be doing the shifting twice. Okay. So that's why you see here let R7 is equal to R5 into 4. That would be equal to R5 double shifted logical twice okay so now you see here in post condition r5 would be equal to 5 and r7 would be equal to 20 how it is equal to 20 since it is doing the logical shifting left for example 5 5 is represented as in 32 bit it is represented as 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 right so now shift left twice so now what it would be happening is so this one zero would be cancelling now so the left out would be zero 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 then uh, this one would be coming here this zero and one okay this one zero one then one more zero okay so that now the this is the first first uh, shifting one one time shifting is done so now the number here is one zero one zero one zero one zero is how much 1010 is 10. Okay. So now how it becomes 20, it should be shifting one more time. So one more zero would be getting cancelled. So these four, uh, three zeros would be coming now 0, 0, 0. Then we have 1, then 0, 1, 0, and one more 0. Okay. So like this, the shifting takes place. This one would be coming here. This 0 would be coming here. This one would be coming here. This 0 would be coming here. And one more 0 is getting added. So now this five numbers, if you see, 0, 0, 0, 0001 and 0, 0100 0, 0, that is 10100 0, 0, 0, okay so that is 20 so now the value for uh, finally the value would be equal to 20 okay so the example multiplies register r5 by 4 and then places the result into the register r7 okay so uh, this is just a simple uh, not required but the logical shift left part we hope you understood it okay similarly uh, uh, with respect to logical shift left, we have logical shift right, arithmetic shift right and rotate right, rotate left operations. Okay. So you see here in this table, it is mentioned LSL is logical shift left. LSR is logical shift right. That is logical sh shifting would be taking at the right side. Then we have arithmetic shift right. That is ASR 
in arithmetic shift right there is one change that is the msb bit won't be uh, ch changing its value either it may be 0 or 1 it would be remaining as it is okay so for example if you want to do arithmetic shift right if the number given is 1000 0, 0, 0, okay so now if you want to do uh, and you write here 32 bit right 0000 0, 0, 0. so if you want to do arithmetic shift right that is asr what you need to be doing is the msb bit is 1 right so that that should not be changed and uh, that should be kept constant. Now you should be doing the right shift operation. That is this one would be coming here now. Then 0, 0. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, like this the shifting goes on. For the next next shifting also, this again MSB bit would be remaining as it is. This one would be shifted here and it goes on. Okay, so this is the arithmetic shift right operation. So hope you understood it. Then we have rotate right and rotate right extended or rotate right with carry. Okay, so the rotate right operation is again uh, very simple. In rotate right or rotate left, it is same as logical shifting, but uh, at the LSP bits, the we won't be adding zeros. Instead of that, the it would be getting rotated. Okay, that is the last bit value would be coming the MSB bit. That is the rotating rotation would be taking place. Okay, in case of rotate right or rotate left. And in RRX, that is rotate right extended, we, we, we would be get, uh, having one carry flag and the first rotation would be taking place along with the carry flag. Okay, first uh, the LSB bit, after the LSB bit, the LSB bit would be coming out, then it won't be coming towards the MSB bit, it would be going to the carry flag, then it would, it would be coming towards the MSB bit. Okay, so that's the difference between rotate right, rotate left or rotate right, rotate left extended. Okay, so it is also called as rotate right through carry. So these are some of the important barrel shifter operations with the, the examples and the illustration I have tried to explain. So here you see here, this is one more example here where they, where they have used the 8-bit uh, uh, instruction for R0 and R1. So this, this is the uh, hexadecimal value with the 8 bits, okay. Precondition and post condition you see, you see here with one example they have mentioned it here, okay. You try to analyze it. So this is all about barrel shifter.